My word, Ryan. I know. This is the 64A way it out. What have you done to it? I know. She's lovely and clean then. Look at the shit of her now. Aye. But it's the nature of the job. And I wouldn't be fantastic to go to the back one of the times and then if there's a lake or something like that there then lo and behold it's on of her. I videoed you at the bailing. We were lining up in the fence like a brusted sofa. <laughs> we're not we're not the same luxury as in here now. <laughs> we're, we're not just at that level of luxury lad. What what is what is the story? I mean Jaeger's the weather we've had. Aye, uh, and I can do you know what I'm gonna tell you the weather the problem is aye, there's two or three dry days there, like I don't know see there they watch us like ground as an atrocious, atrocious shape. The repercussions that are happening now because men didn't get the slurry out at the back end on the S-man here was full of slurry and could not hold any longer, had to do something. Yeah. And like ground conditions are far from ideal. But what do you do? You have to try and get something done and try and make as little of a mess as you can. You're pumping here with the 6480, she's on what, 800s in the bike? 800s in the bike and they're like, 750s, between 750s and 780s at the front because they're that old imperial measurement, um, like yeah. the terra wheels, and I wouldn't just be sure. But at the time we bought them, when I was looking for bigger fronts, we looked and looked and looked, and uh, we actually found a set of Angry Gear. And we done a lot of measuring, a lot of research into it to make sure that no matter what I put on, mark be 1000 be 50s, 800s, or whatever it is, they'll match. Aye. Ideally, what you're saying is you'd like to change the bikes. I would love to change my bikes to their 900s or 1000 50s. But ideally. You've got there. But you didn't buy them tyres, because we had a picture of them. You didn't buy them tyres specifically for this job of uh, the dribble bar. No. The whole thing was, again, bad year, one thing or another, trying to get over ground to get grass built, and that was to sort of try and help all them things. Um, a wet wee corner there. Ah, oh, that's not fantastic there now. <laughs> oh no, we'll just have to. I, I, I. A vaggy, a vaggy, a vaggy, get out of there. A vaggy, no, no, that would be no use in there. When we videoed you for Twist of Fate, you were running the One Fusion, that was your first year with that's the right. Fusion. You were well up in your bail crate that year, so much so, even in the next year after we videoed you, you bought another Fusion, now you bought a Fusion 2. Bought a Fusion 2, um, again. As it all comes down to weather, we couldn't cope with the amount of bailing to do in such a sports system time with one bailer. We were messing out, we were going to lose bailing, I had to do something, so we bought a Fusion 2, um, put the two of them out. There's a man with me now, he drives that, he's with me all the time, and I'm sorry to eat my own words here because I know I said at the time, oh, I don't want many men or anything else, but he, I would have no interest in laughing grass myself or... That's the thing, you you would have no inspiration to go down that route. Not really, because anything I'm doing, you know, spreading story, hedge cutting, any of them things, I do it myself. Mm -hmm. I have no employees, I have nobody to watch but myself. And is that the way you want to keep it? Yes. You don't want to go down the route of employees? No, I don't know. Thanks, change. <laughs> well, you hey, not only that there, like, let me be one of the first to congratulate you. You've went and bought a 3000 Abbey tanker. Yeah. And you yeah. have her on the 724, yes. and she looks. Ah, it's tasty looking. 
Uh, those colours work like the colours just work like, we had it in the, the 7618 that's drawn there as well we had that on it the other day I don't know lo lovely on her dad fan, just I don't know the colours just just do it like have you another NC tanker then? I have an NC as well I took a 2,500 NC tanker um, and that's in the 7618 um, which is another track that you've bought since we last found which is another track that was bought since we last found I suppose since that time we said, oh, I'd like another, another 6616, and we have kind of went that way. Um, I suppose we need another bigger tractor for the beater, and yeah. this here's an RJ, he's mowing, um, what's this space, two mowers, that's going to happen. This here? Yep. Oh, catch yourself on. I'm off. telling you, you wait and see. Catch yourself on. Wait, you hear that thing singing, two mowers hung off her. Well, you know, a lot of people enjoyed listening to the whistle off oh, her. Ah, she's class. And the last DVD, Rain and Green. She, uh, <laughs> soft spot. I uh, don't know what it is, either. Just a soft spot that I love for me, hey. I, I like the noise and I like the way she drives and, like, there's a pile of R's on her and <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, it's just one of them old dolls that's going to be here. It's just, I said, we, I tell you before, and you mentioned that 20,000 R's. Wait and see. There, I don't know what's on her there. There's 13 or 14,000 on her. What do you do, Ryan? Like, come back to the slurry situation. Like, and the law is the law, and you have to try and abide the law and store the slurry. We all know the benefits That's of right. storing the slurry. It is, it is beneficial, but this calendar farming is a bit of an issue. Uh, it's turning into such a massive problem. You know, like I know the NIEA or department, whoever it is, has been more lenient this winter than others because. Man, again, man, don't get sorry out at the back end. But like even that ground today, like I, there's wet sides on it, there's wet corners on it, but it's not waterlogged. No. You know, we're working all right there, like it's not all magic, you know, but again, what do you do? You have to try and do something. It has to go somewhere. Um like that's calendar farming. Like again, that's the same thing with the bailers. You know what I mean? Like two, three dry days and so many of these bales to try and make and grass to gather up in such a short short space of time. Yeah. Well, coming to this particular season, you said the last time you didn't want any hassle, you didn't want the, you, you, you had a mower. Now you're talking, I already told you, you're, you're, your aim is two mowers here. Yeah. Um, you said you didn't bother with the rake or anything like that there. There's a fellow down the road there, does rake them for me, and the uncle does me better rake them for me. And between the two of them, we usually get it done and have no bother. I don't ah. need to, they can organise it. And if the rake breaks down or something, good luck. <laughs> Aye, uh, things sort of changed a wee bit there as well. Um, again? <laughs> so are you, you're just a confirmed liar? Uh, <laughs> well, I wasn't lying at that time. <laughs> Circumstances have changed. Well, uh, again, let me congratulate you. I mean, I think, are you the first in the north? I will, I think, ish. Uh, ish, if, there, if I'm not the first, there's another one and that's it. To get one of the new McHealer X, things escalate, you know. Uh, <laughs> again, it comes down to weather because, again, to keep the two bailers going and trying to get cover through acres when you're wreck, some of us. Yeah. And. Very good. Um, that was sort of why I'm looking forward to getting her now. Um, but underlying, underpinning all this here, it must be working for you. The fella that went out on his own, for the, you know, when we worked the Eddie, as back, if we talked about this before we worked to the Eddie, from that to now, it's obviously grown. It has grown. And your um, bale counts massively up, almost doubled. Almost doubled there. So, as I think we're something like 14 or 15,000 there, I think last year, for the two bailers, considering the year. You know what I mean? There were some there were some gained because of other, and there were some lost. You know, there were some that we didn't get cut. And I see you're running Sweary Cat Railers there, but you're running the Ag Quip. I'm uh, running the Ag Quip Trouble Bar, yep. Um, Which is again local man James again just down local the road man. from you. Like, yes, it's good man. He's very good at his job. James is a good man. He's good at what he does. His product's good. Um, service is great. Great service. I'm needed there. You can have the phone ring him. He'll, uh, he can, he's very helpful. He'll tell you whatever he can over the phone and keeps good parts. But like it's, it's not really GPS conditions. It's no, it's not. I'm funny. I do have GPS, but I haven't actually got it. I'm working away with the flow meter there, but. Um, we're just driving around the wet bits. We're driving around the wet bits. You know what I mean? It's that's what I say. You're sort of trying to. <laughs> that's, that's what you're trying to do. Like you know, GPS just sending you through the wet bits. Like that's the kind of crack. What's going on here? Sometimes you know. 
no more new fans? No, unfortunately not. Still think they're the answer? Uh, Thinking you're leaning a wee bit back towards the Massey after buying the 76? No. See if that work there, see that tanker work. I like just haulage work. I don't think they're the thing. The right. com comfort is unreal. Not have a bit of comfort. Yeah. Um, Vale's not just for right for uh, road work. Like that 76 is, I don't know, she's at around like 195, 200. She'll pull better in the road. But the power shaft box on her, the uh, fan wall on the road. But, she is. Oh, uh, would I? I think so, anyway. From my experience. I think even them boys there would rather work the power shaft box. I look at her. I don't look at her, like, you know. She looks the part, like. She, she has real tasty. And I laughed, you told me you'd bought this tanger. And I seen her in Dublin. <laughs> Have you seen her before me? <laughs> I'd seen her in Dublin on the way up the road to you. I sent you a message, you get your tanger of the day. Uh, I just knew it was yours because the spec, I just knew you told me the spec. She's uh, everything on her double yeah. arms. She's uh, the pump at the front. She's She really has a very well spec. She has very well spec. Sitting there on seven tens. Yeah, boy, seven tens. Seven tens. Tell you, probably should have went for a bigger tanker. Probably should have went like three and a half. But. Next year. I will. Now, let's see. Never seen ever. Never seen ever. But I sort of thought I would go for a 3000 with seven tens on her. That I hope to God we get a drier time and after the first cut or something, you should be able to go out and go out and feel where. Like the NC's there, she's recessed with 30.5s on her. Right, and you've got slurry up here. I just, this is her a good day out, so you should see her times like. What the yeah, time? I know. That's what I say. It's usually just Take even worse that day, you've managed to somehow get a bit onto me. <laughs> well, look at me, I'm not fantastic now. <laughs> you're a dirty brute. I know. So you're just getting her blue out now? Get her blue out here now to get my wee fields with we'll a right, a wee bit more pink up and then I'll refill here. This is not a glorious job, right? No, it's not. For anybody that thinks it's an easy number. Oh, get out of your head. That's work, but you know what, there's work in it. Like it. All that just to move next door. Alright. That's time consuming. See, How many metres of pipe have you out there now, roughly? Two, do you know? four, six. About 650. 650. Roughly. And he sent that on with the tanker. Well, how, how does the tanker do beside your pump, direct pump? Ah, oh, now you the dollar pump, that HT35 dollar pump now puts up some pressure, like she'll move more stuff. But that's a. Uh, and I probably should have went and went with sludge gear. And they're grand, they say if you go over 3,000 gallon, you go to dollar pump because the sludge gear starts to warm up. Do my job, and that's all I'm worried about. You just, it just works. What was your famous statement before we set off the bail challenge? We had the, we had the great we uh, oh a lovely trailer. Uh, sixty-seven one eight. Yes, sixty-seven one eight. Yeah. We had her in the Lely Welger, and I was asking you about what way you'd your set up for Bar Beyond. I never we were we were standing shaking our hands or displaces, you know, or whatever. You just just you know what it's like with tractors. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's different. Yeah. What's pressure, return and all this? Yes. You know all that, and you just goes to me, I don't know, mine's just worked. <laughs> <laughs> Mine just works? That was your answer, I don't know, mine's just worked. <laughs> I'll never forget that, eh? <laughs> Aye, that's a, that's a wee wet back here in there, you know. Oh, it is, aye, time we're out it. You haven't even got round you out back here, and you're, you're, you're making circles, your GPS, it was a bit like us when we were trying to mow. How could you work with GPS? Uh, well, what, what's your dribble bar? What's Seven what's, and a half metre. That's a seven and a half metre. There's men going up to these bigger double bars that, you know, they're big 12 metres and stuff. And aye, great job. I can only imagine they're a great job. The cover's a big sweep of ground with it, you know what I mean? It takes a big slap of ground with it. There's less times up and down the field. But yeah. here's, I would have thought, and weir fields, that would have been challenging. There's a little pile of places I'd be going to here that send you only two acres, like. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and you would have a fold it out and you would go on something down and you'd be out it again. But no, I say, but I've had that wee double bar there, it's a good while, it's grand, you know, it's, if you want it to, you can put it on the bite of tanker too, if you're that way clean. I get in the bite of the Abbey. Aye, ah, you can put it in the bite of the Abbey. 
And you've even turned yourself into a hobbyist farmer now with a log of chapel. Aye, there's... <laughs> well, there always was beasts about, and then my dad retired, and uh, we sort of kept more. Could be 100 or 120 around about there now too, although to be fair, I don't take a wide lot to do with it. My dad kind of looks after it, kind of has wee thing, like, you know, so... And is he still working, helping you a lot there? At the He's still like, helping me. He hasn't um, got the retired life yet. No, he hasn't got it yet. Uh, full time running after me, he maintains. It'd be so, right. Oh, he'd be right. He'd be right. And uh, Eddie's hung up the shoes. Eddie's pretty much hung them up as well. I rung them, apart from the reckon, really. I rung him the other day and he was scooting about in the Berlingo and Andrew and Robert was flat out spreading. Uh, yeah. They have their 6, 9, 30 well set up. Ah, oh, they do. Hey, 1,050s and 750s. Oh, aye, she's bound to be good, boys. She's then, bound to be good. And then the 6, 4, 30s just on the... On the terra uh, wheels. Uh, yeah. Terra wheels, but... Uh, uh, you'll probably have to replace this oil, girl. Nope. nope. So, so, so hardly last it. Oh, well, we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, no, because like, she's good for this job, good for cutting hedges. Does a bit of mowing, throws away the bales, you know. At the end of the day, like, ah, there's loads of tractor manufacturers, but like, they, oh, the dominant ones in the market are the John Deere, the New Holland, the Massey Ferguson, Ico, Volta, you know. You know what I mean? Them, they're, you know, they're taking over. Like, no, they them are, right. three big companies. And, they're, they're, and, and you know, it's the uh, next thing you'd be expecting to see would be John Deere swallowing up some of these. These bigger companies, these, you know, these, some of these things, yeah. You right. know, like your Pottinger or your something yes. like that there, you'll see something like that happening and look at Kabuta, but a lot of people just do not understand the power and the strength of Kabuta. Kabuta, yeah. They are well, up suppose like, you think Kabuta have been making daggers for years, like. Yeah. For years. But like one of the biggest, most successful things Kabuta makes that they make a lot of money on is vending machines. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the things that people, but all they have to do is pick up Google. Aye, uh, and type it in. And type it in and it's all there. You never suppose about you never really be thinking like, you know what I mean? And a lot of the time too is just again them three big uh manufacturers there, you just sort of think, well, it's either New Hall or John Deere or Massey or I go. And it's very interesting business like Tis, tis. Right, just when you look at the economics and the shares and how it's all worked out, but as I say, like at the end of the day, the power belongs to a few people. The power belongs to a few people, that's right. And we're just the monkeys that keep We're going. just the monkeys that keep going and making them bigger and stronger yeah. and you know. And I suppose we're a part of that now too. That's right. Ah. I'll be dead on as long as I get enough to keep the stuff and make the money and live and be yeah. happy. Absolutely. Be happy, boy. You need to be happy. Right. A lot of people ask the questions, you know, how are you getting on in life? Just like I have jumped in here and I, the crucial mistake I made, and I'd, I'd say this before we walk off, jump in. You've done this, you've done that, all focused on what you have done and asking the questions, are you making money and all, but the yeah. all, ultimate question I should have asked, Ryan, you are happy. you happy? Absolutely. Because that's all that matters. End of the day. End of the day. <laughs> if you're not happy, it doesn't matter if you had 10 fans and 30 tankers. Yeah. If you weren't happy, what the point happened? No. Is that right, like? Yeah.